In this example, we have a complex function h of s that is to be used in a unit feedback loop. The question asks to find the phase and gain margins for a range of k going from 1 to 10, and to specify the maximum value of k before the closed loop system becomes unstable. To do that, we are going to use MATLAB. First, let's start by defining s as a transfer function. If we define s as a transfer function as such, then s is known to be the Laplace variable. We can now simply define the function h using a polynomial as follows, where k is the control gain. To find the phase and gain margins of h, we can simply use the function margin of h and assign the output of this function to four variables. gm and pm are the gain and phase margin respectively. Now that we have the transfer function and a function to calculate the phase and gain margins, we can make the value of the constant k go from 1 to 10 and store the phase and gain, gain margin for each value of k in these two variables. And we are also here storing the value of k in the capital K variable. Once this is done, we can simply now plot the phase and gain margin. Let's run the code. And this is what we get. We can see how the phase and gain margin evolve as a function of the gain k. First, let's look at the gain margin shown here on the right. The gain margin is always positive. It goes from something close to 0 to 5. As k increases, the gain margin decreases, which makes perfect sense. Notice that for this range of k, the gain margin is always positive. It is tending to 0, so the system is tending to a critically stable system, but the system is never unstable based on the gain margin. What happens to the phase margin? The phase margin is shown here on the right, and is the blue curve. The phase margin decreases as we increase the gain k and becomes negative past this point at around 5.3. Past this point with a negative phase margin, this means that the phase is beyond 180 degrees and the system is now closed loop unstable. The maximum gain before instability is located around this point here at 5.3. Another way to verify the phase and gain margin is to look directly at the body plot. By simply doing body of h, we can see the body plot for this function. This will take the last value of k here, so k equals to 10. If you right click on the body plot, we have here characteristics, and you can select all stability margins. You see now the gain margin here, which corresponds to the point where the phase is exactly 180 degrees, and you can also see the phase margin at the crossover frequency. By selecting the phase and gain margin, we see that the system is closed loop unstable. And this is another way to evaluate the phase and gain margin by looking directly at the body plot. This code is posted on Canvas and also included in the lecture notes.